Hey guys, Chris here from cncmachineplans.com. What I'm actually doing today is tramming up my machine again. I've already done that before, but I've just made a few modifications and I'm going to be doing that again. Um, the way I'm actually doing it is a method that I've seen only done a few times. I see a lot of guys I've seen surface the table and then look for lines in the table and then adjust the spindle, resurface the table, look for lines again, adjust the spindle and just keep repeating that over and over until they've got it just about right and then I guess they're happy with that. Um, I guess sometimes they do get it perfect. But when you spend so much time building a machine, you spend months if not years through the planning stages and building a machine that you're so excited to use it that the last thing you want to be doing is spending weeks trying to get the spindle just right and being somewhat semi happy with the results of it. So the method I've got here which I'm going to show you today is one that shouldn't take you really more than an hour if not maybe an hour and a half and it will get it really close. Uh, the first time I did this I didn't do it with the modification I just did it by hand with a dial indicator and I got it to within about five to ten thou off being vertical and when I surfaced the machine for the very first time there was no lines in it whatsoever so this time I've added the modifications and I'll show you what I've got here this here is a plate that goes on the side of the spindle. So how this works is that bolts to the side here of the spindle and then I've got some screws so I can tighten the screws up top and bottom and that just pushes the spindle in left or right to get it straight up and down. As far as forward and back then other people might go out and spend a bit of money on shims and that sort of thing one of the things I use is foil you don't have to use foil but if you want to go out and spend some money on some shims be my guess but foil works fine for me um, it's thin enough that you can just keep overlapping it until it's just right the other things that you'll need is one of these, just two dial indicators or you can use a bar with one on it and just spin it. A sheet of glass, doesn't have to be a sheet of glass but as long as you've got something that's flat and ground so that when you spin your indicator there's no divots or any imperfections in it so got a piece of glass here which you clean up make sure there's no dust or dirt that can interfere with your levels and a pack of cards now what I actually do is put some cards in all four corners sit the sheet of glass down then we run the spindle left and right and back and forth with the dial indicator down to make sure that it is level so when you've hit zero on all your corners then that's right and you tram to suit that sheet of glass so what you're actually doing with that sheet of glass is creating a plane that is parallel to the axes of your machine and so that when you tram the spindle to that then that's your vertical so let's dive in and have a look at that and we'll show you the method of what I use and what works for me. Alright, so as you can see here I set up a sheet of glass and I've got some cards in all four corners. Enough cards that you can remove some and also you know keep a, a spare set aside. You can see just off to the right of the screen there um, that you can add some as well. So what you want to do is you want to bring your, your dial indicator down till it touches the glass. I've got a peg 
in one of mine just to hold one side off because I'll just be using one side of the indicator to traverse back and forth and left and right until I've got that sheet of glass at zero on all four sides so like I said left right back forth until it's it's even so one thing I stress which is basic stupidity don't have your spindle on turn it off please so you don't want that thing spinning at 24,000 rpm so I'm going to do that and then I'll get back to you soon with where I go from there one of the other things I just wanted to mention as well when you're leveling the machine or leveling the glass setting the plane for that if you're having problems getting it perfect so from left to right front to back if you can't get it it at a zero point in on all four sides you can do this in two stages so you can just level and get a zero point front to back and then turn this sideways and level your machine out that way or tram your machine that way once that's suitable or up to your standards you can then not worry about the zero point from front to back but then do it side to side and then once you've got that zeroed out from side to side then proceed to tram it in that direction so that's the two stages you can do that in if you can't seem to get it to be perfect um, on all four sides if there's an anomaly in the glass or something like that so here you can see another view is I've got the tramming plate on this side I haven't put it back on the other side yet but I loosen the four bolts and that enables me to take the whole spindle off so it's the two clamps and a plate and I've got another plate behind there as well so what I do between those two plates is I just put some foil in there bolt it back on check it front to back this is the slowest process because I don't have something that I can just tighten a screw and tilt it back and forth so I have to unbolt, rebolt, put the shims in and just keep doing that back and forth until I've got it right once I've got it right then doing it this way is super easy because you've got the screws just to screw in and out and just adjust it you know that'll take only a few minutes and once you've done that bolt it down surface your table and yeah the results will be good so all right I'm gonna keep at this and we've been having a little bit of time this hasn't taken me too long I spent about 10 minutes it was within about five to ten thou when I started so it wasn't too bad I didn't have far to go so as you can see here I've been folding up some foil and just putting it in the top there so let's come around and have a look at the indicators so let's see if we can get focus okay so on the left one about 56 and a bit reading it backwards there and on this one I'm at 55 so I've got one and a bit to chase so I'm not far off now so I'm going to keep doing that all I'm doing is just rolling this up when it's a bit out then I just fold it up put it back in if I'm a bit over then I unwrap it one see this stuff's thin enough that you know you can get away with one or two folds and you're good and plus when you screw these up too it compresses it and makes it nice and flat so yeah I know also that when you're doing side to side you're going to have to loosen these up but the good thing is you've already compressed this this shouldn't change when you tighten it all back up as well so hopefully I'm covering all bases in this video but if you've got any questions please comment remember to subscribe and you know, we'll have some more videos of this but I'll keep going and I'll show you where I'm up to at the end with this and I'll also 
it keeps showing you when I do left to right as well. So, all right, hang in there, guys. Alrighty, so where I got to with front to back, I got within half a thou, so that was fine for me. Um, what I found with the foil here, that if I um, wrapped one more over, then I went the other side, and if I backed it off, I was, I was either half a thou over or half a thou under, so I had to pick one. Um, so that was, you know, going to the next stage, I guess, would be buying shims and doing it properly and spending the money and doing it that way. But I switched to doing the sides, or yep, left to right now, and so I've got these plates bolted on, so I only just bolt these on just to tram it up. Once it's bolted down, I take them off, so um, that's that side, and exactly the same thing on the other side, it's just to give the spindle a nudge. So let's see where we're at here, so I can get this to focus. Okay, so we're at just a smidge under 45 there. And let's have a look at the other one. And just a smidge under 45 on that one too. So, there you have it. That to me is close to perfect and that's where I'm going to leave it so all I've got to do now is just tighten up these four bolts, surface the table and doing it that way you shouldn't have any lines in it. Righty guys so there you have it, that's the method I use by shimming the front and the back as you can see there with the foil to get it just right and from side to side using the screws just to slightly turn the screws so that the spindle comes into alignment. What I found with tightening up these four bolts on the back that you had to do them up slowly so sort of go around do half a turn on each of the four bolts then check the spindle because sometimes when it's pulling it it wants to twist so half a turn half a turn on each then if you need to then you can just give it a gentle nudge just with the screws on the side and that just gives it a push and same thing half a turn all the way around and you'll find that the dial indicator does move but they should just move with each other and so that's what's worked for me the surfacing you know I've already done that with the previous tram I did but I you know just about due for another resurfacing of the table so I know that when I do that it'll be perfect no lines anything like that again so thanks for watching if you've got any questions please ask away in the comments and I'll try and follow those up and yeah please subscribe and I'll keep putting some more tips and tricks up there I've also got a mill build going on as well so you've probably seen the introduction video to that but there'll be more to go on that as well I've got it all pulled apart now and um, we'll do a video showing all the individual pieces on that and how fit ball screws and so on and so forth so thanks for watching